Welcome. Folks. To another Let's Play. Yes, I'm doing King's Quest V. Have you previously played King's Quest V? Um, no, I never played it. Warning, this cartoon contains material. Yeah, yeah, we should watch it. Castle that is, whoever the, oh, that castle will be really pissed when they find out the castle's gone. for that shit. Ooh, I can tell you what happened. Oh no. What? Ooh, I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. Ooh, I'm totally you useless. Ooh. Well then, what happened? Ooh, it was the powerful and evil wizard Mordak who did it. Ooh, I just happened to be visiting with an old friend oh. when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Oh. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Cause I'm a fucking coward. Don't stop now, go oh. on. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Ooh, it was something to see, all right. Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? That I don't know. Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. Well, perhaps I can help you. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak though, my employer is a very good wizard. Ooh. His name is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. The only problem is, you see... I'm fucking clumsy as hell! Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. Oh, that's a understatement. I don't know. Ooh. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Crispin is a very qualified wizard. One of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again. Oh, that's all. That's why I'm around. Ooh. Now, where Otherwise is you it? Them turn me into... Ooh, Ooh. I know I brought it with me. Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> Here it is. What is that? Well, it is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordak. Ooh, excuse me for saying, Your Majesty, but you don't have a choice. You must come with me. I'm sure Crispin can help you. What is 
is that stuff? Ooh, just some old leftover fairy dust I've been carrying around. Ooh, it'll help you to fly. Ooh, like a you Peter Pan. You can follow Ooh. me to the land of Slovenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. Ooh, I think the fairy dust is still good. Has died. Oh, wait. Uh, at least he landed in the water. Good thing this isn't Ooh, Simon's looks quest. Like the he died. Just wore off. No shit. Cedric? Where have you been? I've been calling for you. I wanted to make. I wanted to make well, a barbecue well. now. What have we here? And you weren't here. A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. Cedric, go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Oh, I like this thing. Be sure to pour some of it on yourself. I mean... The Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good, though. Crispin, why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. So I've what never good understood are you anyway? that evil mind of his. So what good are you Ooh, anyway? I thought perhaps you could help his majesty, Crispin. That's why I brought him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know, but I've gotten a little rusty lately. <laughs> a little rusty? That's quite enough from you, Cedric. How would you like to be a barbecue yes, owl? I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see Just what like I can me. find. Move a little longer faster there, old man. Shit. Jesus. I'm glad I don't have a limit on YouTube videos, for fuck's sake, because otherwise... This would have already gone past the 10 minutes. No, that won't do. That's all used up. Hmm. It might work. Here, eat this. What is that? 
That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. You uh. could find that quite helpful. Really? Does that mean I get to carry on conversations with Cedric? Wand. I don't How's even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Morlack could be up to. You go with him, Cedric. Show him the way. Ooh. Yes, you don't be such a coward. We'll now talk go about on. it later. You better get started. Cedric. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. No, I don't. Because Cedric's useless. As anyone who's played this game will know. Oh, I suggest we visit the town first. How about it, Your Majesty? Please don't call me Your Majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. Oh, I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well then, let's be on our way, Cedric. Uh, first things first, we're gonna speed this fucker up all the way. But apparently there are no subtitles. I don't know why. I thought because I turned on subtitles in speech. But I guess they don't let you do that. A small cellar door is located under the house. Ooh, don't bother with the cellar door. There's nothing there. Besides, it's locked. Oh. Oh, so we don't need to go in there. A small well is located near the cottage. Oh, well, haven't we fall in there? Curious. Graham gazes down into Crispin's well, but sees nothing of interest. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't fall in and die, because, you know, that's something Sierra Games are notorious for. Dying instantly. For just looking at stuff. Anyway, let's save our game again here. You save. Alright. Let's, uh... The hand-hewn wooden door is recessed within a small porch. I guess we can't go in there because I think it's locked. Oh. I guess we can go in there. Don't be wasting your time coming in here. Young man, I've done all I can for you. Now it's up to you. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'm not going to be here for a little while. There's an emergency I have to attend to in a neighboring land. I'll try to keep an eye out for you, but this is something you and Cedric are going to have to do yourselves. I wish you the best, King Graham. I appreciate all you've done, Crispin. I'll except be on my way now. Uh, except for, um, give me Cedric. He's useless. <laughs> What's this? An unusual ornament decorates Crispin's front yard. Crispin, being a wizard, it must have some magical significance which Graham could never understand. Okay. That's Crispin's universe interpreter. But be careful, you might accidentally realign the stars. Really? Okay, right. Uh, okay. The cool pond water quenches Graham's thirst. Okay. Now well, let's, uh... Let's go this way. Let's show you a... I'm gonna show you... Oh, here we go. Here's Graham, the... Graham, watch out! Don't a poison in a snake. snake! Oh, yes. 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 Shut up, Cedric. Alright, we're gonna save here. And, uh, new save. We're gonna call this... About to die. Yeah. Because that's what's gonna happen. Now watch. Oh, hello, snake. And, yeah. That wasn't wise, Graham. 
He who speaks with forked tongue should never be trusted. <laughs> next. So next. So yeah, don't don't touch the snake. Okay, I need to. All right. Now here's another thing. You can die here. It's easy to die here, by the way. Yeah, if you. Yeah, for some reason, Graham, you know, uh, if he falls in the water, he dies instantly. No, Graham, don't! See? Too bad. Graham's swimming skills were no match for the mighty river. <laughs> he didn't even try to swim. Are you kidding? Okay. So, yeah, don't do that. Anyway, let's go into town. If you're going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Because I'm a big fucking coward. Woo! Anyway. Let's, uh... Hey, at least the music's not so loud here. That's good. It usually is loud, but it's not this time. That's good. Let's talk to this guy. He probably doesn't think How goes it with you, good fellow? Not well, I'm afraid. This old wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. All right, then. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. All With right. this wagon, I'm going to need it. Okay. Well, let's go in here. May I help you, sir? I'm not gay. I mean, oh. Um, all right, let's go out. Because I think now... Ah, yes. There we go. I want that coin. Bending down, Graham quickly retrieves the silver coin from the street. And when you hear a jingle noise, that means you got points. Inside the barrel, Graham sees an old rotting fish. Mmm, let's take that shit. Graham leans way down into the barrel and removes, phew, the smelly old fish. Okay, let's save our game again. Yeah, you need to save a lot in this game, by the way. It's easy to die. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, where to next? I'm trying to remember now. It's been so long since I played this game. Uh, ah, yes. Let's go in here. Ooh, I'll wait for you here, Graham. Vedic shock. How is your poor dear mother doing, William? Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. Thanks for asking, Amanda. Austin, keep your fingers out of that pie. The pies look lovely. I think I'll take one. Yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. Yes, this will be a fine dessert for our dinner tonight. Let's go home, Austin. Okay. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Hurry the fuck up. You're moving too slow, bitch. Come on, move along. Come on. Come on, move. Alright. Alright. Here's the last of the pies. How lucky we have. Welcome to our bakehouse, traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but today we've got a special uncustard pie. Just one silver coin each, but... Take your time. Let me know when you're ready. Well, wouldn't you know it? We happen to have a, a silver coin. And we need to buy one of those custard pies. So let's do it. Sir, I would like to purchase one of your custard pies. These pies cost one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. Yep. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. Oh, I'm sure I will. Alright, let's, uh, think. Let's save again, because I'm not sure if we're going to trigger an event here. And, and if we trigger it, we are screwed, by the way. Because we don't have the item necessary to get through it yet. And we don't want to go in there, because you die instantly. 
Um, I'm trying to remember what I need to do. Uh, oh yeah, the bear. Woo, watch out for the bear, Graham! Ah, oh, fuck you, Cedric. Ah, he's not so bad. Let, let's let's see what happens if we get too close to the bear. Eh, nothing will happen to us. I mean, I'm sure that bear's quite friendly. I'm sure he wouldn't hurt us at all, you know, because... Because, you know, he didn't seem that harmful at all. Yeah... Tisk tisk. Graham should know better than to feed the bears. <laughs> Funny game. All right. Now, give him the fish. Boom. <sighs> there we go. I'm Queen Beatrice, kind sir. Oh my. I wish to thank you ever so much for saving our hive from the claws of that horrible Humble bear. Bye. In return. I offer you a luscious honeycomb from our hive. Please feel free to retrieve one. I promise my bees won't harm you. Aww. It may come in handy on your travels. And that's true, that honeycomb will come in handy. But first, let's grab the stick. We'll need that. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. Alright, save the game again. Psst. I know you're probably going, why are you saving the game so much? Because it's easy to die in this game. That's why. Alright. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. Wrapping it in a protective piece of cloth, he then pockets it. Okay. Save again. You're probably going, saving again? Why? Because it's too easy to die in this game, by the way, like I said. Oh, look. Now we got to deal with a dog. <laughs> Bastard Doug. A bully of a dog terrorizes the poor ants as he plays poor with ants, my the ants. large anthill. If you ask me, those ants had it coming. What? What? I don't like ants. But you have to save them. I hate that we have to save ants. But that's what you're supposed to do, is throw the stick to the Allow dog. Allow me to introduce myself. And of course the ants. I'm the king and me the great. May I ask King you Anthony? Are? Why, certainly. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend Cedric. We're seeking a way to cross the Great Mountains to the ocean on the other side. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider. But if you shall not, in return for rescuing our home from that flea bitten cur, I wish to offer you our help, if for chance you may ever need it. Thank you very much, King Anthony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. King we look forward Anthony. to meeting you again. King Anthony? Alright. Let's save again, by the way. I'm not sure what happens if we go this way, but I think it leads to... It leads... What's this way? Ah, yes. The, um... The gnome and his father. We're going to need that marinette at some point. But we don't have anything to give him yet. So, we don't want to go that way yet. Oh, and there's this, this guy. Not sure what his problem is. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. He's um, upset about his... You'll see that, that tree. Uh, we don't want to go that way yet. That is... Um, yeah. We don't want to go that way yet. I think it's... Ah yes, this is the this is the willow. Um, we're gonna need that harp, but we can't get the harp yet because she wants it. So we gotta keep that. She gotta keep. Uh, I think it's this. One. I don't want to go in the desert yet. I'm gonna have to go to the desert eventually, but I'm not looking forward to it. Let's see, what is this way? Is it this way? Oh, this way leads back to Christmas house. Oh, okay, cool. That's what I wanted to do actually. Because I think we can I swear Cedric, if you talk about that damn snake again, I swear I'm gonna kick your Okay. Alright, uh No, that's not it. Oh he's gone. I just took off in a hurry. I didn't get a chance to talk to the guy. Oh well. Don't really have to, I just wanted to. 
่าโอเค serious way to avoid that area unless we want to Because I can now get an item there. I'm not sure. Damn it! It's down here. Ah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. Let's try to get. Graham watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack and begins to swarm through it. Say. There was a way that we could be of help to you. Look here, we found the golden needle in the haystack. Well, I'd like to present it to you. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Why, thank you, King Antony. I'm honored. Good luck in your travels, King Graham, and be careful. Ah, oh, okay. Save game again. Simply because I don't know what's this way. I believe this way leads to the friggin... No, it doesn't. Okay, good. I was hoping... I'm glad it didn't, because I was afraid it was going to lead to the, um... Yeah, and we need to go to the... I think we've acquired everything that we can acquire in this town area. So... Ooh, keep your eye on the gypsies, Graham! I don't trust them! No one asked you. Alright, let's see. Game here. Alright. We are going to go into the desert next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more of King's Quest V. Stay tuned for more Let's Plays. Stay tuned for future Let's Play. Yeah, stay tuned for future videos, future Let's Plays. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave comments, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Do you really want to quit? Yes, I do.